disabilities, especially mine, and considering the fact that you did not look up what the definition of reasonable is, according to the ADA. According to the ADA, you don't get to determine what's reasonable. I do. Add the basic parameters. If it is a, um, a huge expense for you, if it is outside of you know, I'm not asking you to look at a video about making ice cream. I'm asking you to look at a video where I detail, very detail-like, I go through why it is that Anu should have been forced. You should have told Cathedral Square, we cannot release you funds. Your HAP contract is void if you don't remove them immediately. 
That's all you had to do. You require by law to. Now, whether you want to uh, 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 <clears throat> report report it further on to the HUD, you know, Office of the Inspector General. Now, I, I, I think you're supposed to. Whether you do that or not, I don't know. But you see, when you did not remove them, that directly affected me. And since you refuse to act like you know anything, the one time you responded to me was that I made the video too long. Good. Well, you're still required to offer me a compromise. I didn't say I had to accept it. You did not offer it to me. You just refused to watch the video. Okay. See, I've got ones that are much shorter than I already made. That's why I sent you the long one first. I wanted to see if you were going to balk at it. You did. You see, you're. I'm a lot smarter than you. You see, I did it one piece at a time. It didn't cost me a dime. You'll know it's me when I come through your town. You get my drift, sweetheart? Oh, I can talk to her like that. She has been absolutely, completely fucking unempathetic towards me. I could talk to her like she's a little child. Because she's going to try to act like one. That's why I say to a little girl, I'd say, okay, sweetheart. Show, show me, show me your excuse. Oh, is it that lovely? Well, you, you sure did do well. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did a poor job. You really did a fucking poor job. <laughs> it's too long. This is unreasonable. I just love you small town people. A lot of y'all are lovely. Like, I like, those ladies over there, cops, were always really lo lovely to me. Um... It's, it, 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 the ladies over there at, at, at the uh, the cots over at their their shelter they were nice to me as well I'm not gonna say anything bad about cots I have no it would it would be dishonest and that's one thing about us we will express ourselves honestly y'all don't know what honestly means we're going to define that for you honestly what anu has done, is a, a much more serious than you, well, I'm sure you realize, that's why you play stupid. If it wasn't that big of a deal, you'd be all over it. It's because it's so unbelievably egregiously wrong. It's the reason why you're acting like you don't know nothing about it. Now, if there's any kind of illegal business interest that y'all have upset, Hey, I'm autistic. I'm disabled. I don't know no better. They do. Uh, that's your own employees, not me. They're blaming it on me. I got nothing against nobody. You see this right here? See, this is the check that I wrote them. This is the record of them depositing it. They deposited it into guess which account? This one, they deposited it into this account. She wrote me a receipt. You see, that's her hand signature right there. Hope there's no little stuff. I pick up. I pick up my fucking skin. Is goddamn my skin is trying to eat me alive. Well, yeah. Thank you, Doctor Brandon Ferraro, for listening to me. See, I wrote them a check. See the check? See, this is how banking works. See, they keep records of everything. Yeah. And see, there's there's the back side of that check. That's where they deposited it to. There's my receipt. This all happened in May and June of 2020. We moved in in July. So that whole idea of us taking a year, yeah, that was the whole point, was it was supposed to take a year. Oh, we slowly work up, uh, oh, because I'm supposed to be a homeless drug addict. I I'm not a homeless drug addict. I'm someone with autism, who was a domestic violence victim, who was seeking somewhere safe to be. Yeah, they were not safe at all. Thank God they're fucking incompetent. I've dealt with much, much more capable fucking dangerous people. Trust me. 
these ones were fucking incompetent as I've ever seen. That's why it's like don't don't partner up with these criminals. Trust me, they're not good at it. You want good criminals. You don't want bad ones. I mean, you don't want incompetent ones. You want good ones. Trust me, I've seen some good ones. You mean slippery for them? See, that's a check he wrote me over a year later. That's supposed to be for one year. Well, he decided that that wasn't going to start until the July, you know, 15th. We moved on 2020. Oh, okay. You do know that in December of, uh, of 2020 that I was awarded an early voucher to move. Yeah, I decided to decline that. Do you wonder why? Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you know what commingling means? Do you know what it, commingling means? Do you know what commingling means? Are you a fiduciary? Do you know what fiduciary means? And I'm not asking George Santos or the Easter Bunny or the Tooth Fairy or wherever the fuck that guy is this week. <laughs> I'm not asking him, I'm asking you. Do you know what the fuck a fiduciary is? Does a fiduciary ever take a vulnerable adult's money for a subsidized housing program? I'm not asking George Santos. I'm asking you, Stephanie Bixby. I'm asking you, Stephen Murray. I'm asking you, Catherine Titus. Do you ever take money from what the Vermont defines as a legally defines as a vulnerable adult? Do you take their money in order for them to receive a Section 8 housing choice voucher? The answer is no. You are never, ever give them a fucking, you never, ever ask for a fucking dime from a development disabled person to get into Section 8 housing. Not a third party contractor. For any reason. Whatsoever. There is no justification. The law states you don't do that. Do you understand that, sweetheart? I do. You I mean, look at me. I'm fucked in the head. And I understand that. What's your excuse? I mean, that's hard for you to act like, oh, I don't know. I don't work there. I'm disabled with autism spectrum disorder. I have a very dangerous fucking mass activation syndrome. Chronic fatigue. IBS. Gee, I wonder why I have all them fucking problems. Oh, I'm sure it has nothing to do with stress. All right, sweethearts. Yeah, I'm talking to you too, Stephen. You're going to be a sweetheart too. Is this what it takes to get your fucking attention to make you do the right thing? Well, then it was worth it. Don't go fuck yourself. You're an adult. You don't get the fuck over it. Grow a pair. All of y'all. It's, it's okay. You can. You can do that now. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't care. Grow a pair. Ladies, too. Y'all can grow a pair. According to what all them fucking breasts can say, so that's cool. I'm fine. I don't give a shit. Do what you want to do. I, I, you, you ain't going to force me to do shit. Especially when it's illegal. be their fucking excuse. That'll get them out. Of, that'll, that, that'll be the reason why people will just go, oh, okay. Well, it will smudge. So, apparently, if the screen was slightly, if my camera lens was slightly smudged, that means that there's no, no crime by right here. Okay. Remove all doubt. God damn it, I wish that shit would fucking focus better.
It's like for some reason, the light, the natural light reflects off from the window is much better for focusing than that fucking yeah sorry hippies I hate I hate that we're not gonna ever have a real light bulb again until my headaches for the rest of my life I'm gonna take it out on y'all sorry that's just that's how we work <laughs> I'm gonna fucking harass y'all every time every time anybody brings that up I'm gonna be like oh yeah thanks for the headache that never ends see how you like it Brian's been killing me. This is Vermont state law. Here's the thing. In order for you to accept the, finance, the, the, the federal HUD dollars, you have to follow all, guess what? Federal laws. And guess what also? You have to follow all the state laws in that state. You're in Vermont. You're the Burlington Housing Authority. You're a new place of, guess where? Vermont. Cathedral Square Corporation, headquartered, guess where? In South Burlington, Vermont. Vermont, 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 Vermont. Well, here's the thing. You have to follow both state and federal law. Sometimes if one uh, uh, overrules the other one, just like if you have a state law that overrules the federal you know, housing rights or the federal housing rules or laws, and guess what? And vice versa. It makes them both null and void to be able to, pro to yeah. But the thing is, you're still liable. Embezzlement. Yeah. You see? Hope it'll focus. Maybe it's too close on one side. I don't know. Oh, you can stop it and zoom. Set bank account. See, I sent all this Catherine Tice to let her know that they committed that like over a year ago. She, she didn't care. So oh, she said, we did an investigation. We found there was no wrongdoing over there. It's like, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. You thought it was because I was autistic. I'd be like, oh, well, I'm confused. It's like, yeah, I am confused. You're fucking right, I'm confused. See, this, this is, I sent you a copy of that. See how I highlighted all the important information and showed them. Guess what? All them arrows go to something. Commingled. Misappropriated. Embezzlement. Financial exploitation of a vulnerable adult. Yeah. I have a developmental disability. I'm DD waiver status. What does that mean? That means that all the developmental disability fucker rights protect me. Here's the thing, even if it was a question, they're like, well, we knew he was autistic, but we didn't know that he was D.D. Waver autistic. And they could, here's the thing, though. You're not supposed to, if, if there's any question of it, you might want, you know, get in contact with the experts to make sure first. Well, y'all didn't do that, because they would have said, no, you don't. There's the check. What they did was, they took my money, and on both of these accounts, on the reverse side of my check it says i used to i used to own a corporation and we had multiple checkbooks like you know them big ones in the love yeah i mean i didn't have to have those like big you know fancy ones but i wanted to feel like i had a big dick so i got you know the big ones i was still young it was appropriate and one else had them so i had them big corporate ones you know with the multi-piece and all that so i had like you know i had one checkbook just for payroll and i had one checkbook just for you know accounts receivable one checkbook for accounts payable, you know, one account book for, I don't know what, <clears throat> no, I come from a family of accountants. Oh, either real estate or accounting. Yeah, my mother's a CPA. Not only is she a CPA, she's probably one of the most ingenious fucking accountants you've ever seen. She's so fucking genius that it makes her fucking stupid at business. But here's the thing, there ain't nothing she can't fucking spot just by looking in your records. And she ain't got a lot long. Trust me, it was a nightmare growing up being raised by that woman. Especially when she feels wrong about every fucking band of work. If my grandfather was a piece of shit, treated her like, treated her like shit. That's the reason why she the way she was. Laura, I hope she fucking learned to let that shit go over the years. But she's still alive, it is. But we ain't taught her in like 20 years. We don't want to. 
Some things you can't forgive. They put it directly into their account. An officer, agent, bailey for hire, clerk, or servant of a banking association or an incorporated company, or a clerk, agent, bailey for hire, officer, or servant of a private person, partnership, trade union, joint stock company, an incorporated association, fraternal or benevolent association, except apprentices and other persons under the age of 16 years old, who embezzles or fraudulently converts to his or her own use or takes or, seek or secrets with intent to embezzle or fraudulently convert to his or her own use, money, or the property that comes into his or her possession or is under his or her care for virtue by such employment. Notwithstanding, he or she may have an interest in such money or property shall be guilty of embezzlement. If the money or property embezzled does not exceed $100 in value, $100 in value, they took 2000 2000 2000 The person shall be imprisoned not more than one year or fined not more than $1,000 or both. If the money or property embezzled exceeds $100 in value, the person shall not be imprisoned by more than 10 years. So, I mean, there's up to 10 years. Or fined not more than $10,000 or both. Here's the thing. For the most part, people who are powerful and wealthy could probably be like, okay, like I'll pay ten thousand dollars to the state, I'll pay ten thousand dollars to him, and I'll make sure that they never fuck work in housing again. And that would have been fair. And that would have actually been reasonable on all parties. And and that will be will be cool with you. Oh, and we'll help you out with your other problems that you know people try to fuck you over with too. But no, none of that. I don't even like you people. I'm doing you a fucking favor. What retaliatory conduct is. Do I seem stupid to you now? I'm not. I didn't ask you if I seem crazy to you. I know that you're. Y'all are all Catholic. But apparently y'all ain't them cool ones, you know, that I've known that usually care about other people. Y'all don't want to fuck people over it like that didn't happen. Every religion and every race, every, every people's got them. It's just statistics. You're telling me, oh, I believe this, I believe that. Yeah, well, I believe it. You owe me fucking money. How about that? Actually, I believe you owe, I believe you owe the federal government a lot of money. And don't try to use the police. Yeah, I know they mean well because I, I they, they, I've when I first got here and, and, and the couple of ones I've run into individually, they're all real nice. They're all real decent. Actually, we're on our way to help an autistic person. So if all of a sudden that you know I get I get a lot I I, I get a lot of problems with them people, and I, I got a feeling that you know some someone is you know leveraging shit to go their way. I have a feeling that police are really hesitant to that. I'm not saying, you know, higher up people won't. I mean, there was that article. I mean, I'm just saying. There was that article about having that, that doctor who was just doing his job. I don't even like doctors. But he did do the right thing. So I ain't going to pick on him, man. I'm going to say thank you. What about that corner thing that got burnt up in a house fire? And some fucking hubble that, you know, the boats were renting, wasn't it? Or was it? I don't know. Wasn't that Dan? Weren't you the one that was in that building, that guy over there? He was actually real nice to me to want Burlington Tenants Onion or Union or what? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a joke, but I'm not sure. I'm autistic. I'm not real good with that. Dan was real nice to me if that really is a guy or if it was just somebody that, you know, posed as him, you know, some hacker fucking played, played a game with me. I guess. I don't know. Um, I mean, it was before I had a VPN. You know, oh, yeah, you got to have those, yeah. Uh, oh, I, here's the thing. I have no problems with, you know, with the uh, legitimate, 
you know, persons of authority, you know, being able to, you know, use court order to get my information from my, you know, yeah, if yeah, if it's to prove, but only if that's like I said, that's legitimate. <laughs> um, I got nothing to hide. I just don't want my shit intercepted. If I had anything to hide, I wouldn't be doing this. Oh. Okay, here is another Vermont law they broke. Remember, because they took my money. Remember? Do you remember that? Here, ho hold on. Let me go get you my copy of the check. Yeah, there's my receipt that proves, see, because it didn't go, see that, the account that I'm covering up, which I don't think, I, I don't really give a shit, what are they going to do? Can you bank count, motherfucker? It's still a record. <laughs> 566. They're supposed to put that into an account. If your fiduciary gets the law, I'm not going to put that into a separate protected account. What a fiduciary does. You can't act as a fiduciary if you're not a fiduciary. If you don't know that you're acting as a fiduciary, well, there's still you're not. If you're not, if he's not, if, if Kevin Pounds can't prove he's autistic or fucking retarded, like I can, then he has no excuse. You don't anybody any rational grown adult knows that you don't fucking lie about shit when it comes to taking money from an autistic person. I guess it goes to show how unbelievably fucking dangerous that person is. That's how fucking stupid he is. Could you imagine how, how if, if I hadn't come along to be, you know, the thorn in everyone's side about this? Could you imagine how fucking bad it would have gotten? How much it would I mean, oh my God. You have no clue how much of a fucking favor I did you. Don't act like I did it. Oh, if I hadn't... Oh, you know it, too. There's my fucking receipt. That's called embezzlement. That's called misappropriation of funds. You know what it's also called? It's also called financial exploitation of an autistic adult. I'm not even sure there's several pages of this. There's civil... See, I think this is actually criminal because of the fact that they were at, well, they said that they were supportive housing. Okay, well, then you go on to criminal because you're supposed to know better. Well, that's what you claim. Well, that's why you don't lie in such a stupid way. Abuse, neglect, exploitation. No person shall willfully use, withhold, transfer, or dispose of funds or property of a vulnerable adult. I am legally a vulnerable adult. That's the reason why I was offered DD waiver status by the Howard Center. It's because I'm a vulnerable adult. Without or in excess of legal authority. You have no authority. You have no legal authority to. For wrong, for profit, or advantage. No person shall willfully acquire possession or control of an interest in funds or property of a vulnerable adult through the use of undue influence, harassment, duress, or fraud. This is not transitional housing. They told me I had to pay $2,000 to get to transitional housing. Well, then I was going to take my chances somewhere else. Oh, so that was the only choice that I had. You want to listen to my recordings? They've been up for months now. Here's the thing. If you read the fine print about the language of what defines a vulnerable adult in Vermont, First off, DD waiver status already says that. And even if you try to find some way to get to Howard's room to revoke that, it's still the fact that I have, I have tried for th two and a half fucking years to get the BHA to do the right thing. And then I tried to get Cathedral Square to do the right thing. I tried to get HUD to do the right thing. Well, apparently, 
I have absolute step-by-step proof that that law applies to me because one of the number one things is if I happen to have a developmental disability and I can show that I have an inability to get equal protection, equal rights or equal everything you have done has ripped me off, has intimidated me. And you know what the problem is? Y'all don't know how to deal with an autistic person. See, y'all think, I know what what scares people. Yeah, I ain't people. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'm not a psychopath. That's, that's clear. But I ain't like you people. That's for damn sure. I ain't perfect. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I mean, that's glaringly obvious. Well, I got oh, I got my nicks and scrapes. I got my rough edges. I got my dented corners. But you know what? Still consistent. Always been consistent. That's how autistic people are. Y'all are the ones that are extremely inconsistent here. See, that's the thing. You won't take. You try to take me to court and go, well, he's D.D. Waver says. It's because he's D.D. Waver says it mean he needs you to take over his life. The one thing that everybody failed at was basically just giving him the basic equal protection and equal rights of everyone else would have been afforded. Because of his status, because of his disability, you made sure he would never be able to fucking get that right. Well, he had enough sense to go and publish his shit on YouTube. I mean, some people might see it as crazy. I see it as being courageous. I don't know courageous, but I know... What is that? I don't know karate, but I know crazy. It's like, I don't know karate, but I know courageous. <laughs> yeah, I ain't worried about it because that's the thing. There's so many records of everything. I want them, I, I, I want to know from the Burlington Housing Authority publicly in Cathedral Square that a new place will absolutely never fucking ever be involved in housing in Vermont ever again in any way. And you work on a process of severing your ties with them. That's all that I ask. Oh, and that you start following the rules. Oh, and I'm moving. But I'm not stopping until they're, they're removed. <coughs> you know, they I think they I think they indicted Trump again. Y'all y'all you know something? You conservatives, y'all, y'all really, y'all really got you know bold there. You really, saw, you saw President Trump just do whatever the fuck he want and get away with it. And y'all are like, you know what? If we just not give a flying fuck and just do whatever we want, we'll get away with it. Yeah, that that's how criminally minded persons buy work. That's just such a sociopathic mental process. <laughs> it's like no worry of will that change. <laughs> no worry of. Maybe we misread that. No worry of well, what happens when everyone fucking gets tired of that shit. Th that's the thing. That's a sociopathic you know, way of looking at it. See, I always think about it from more like a current perspective. It's kind of like, well, you know what? Yeah, you know, I I don't want to feel like I'm I'm owed some some retribution. I'm not I'm not one of them types. I don't you know, it's like this is one too many times that someone has taken advantage of me and then the entire system will not get away with it. That's going to stop this time. Because I know y'all won't do the right thing because y'all care. This is where if you don't care, we'll cancel you. Remember that. I don't give a fuck who you are. You better, you better pretend like you care. Do a better job of it. <laughs>